Hello everyone, FunchinX here. Welcome back to Crash Landing, a map pack on the Feed the Beast launcher made by Iskandar. We are currently in version 1.1.2, 1 .1 uh, episode 12, I think so. And last time we did a lot of basic pneumatocraft stuff, the compression chamber, or pressure chamber, sorry. And uh, we got up to some empty PCBs, and we've been etching them, or throwing them in the light box to give us a better success chance when we go to etch them. This one's at 78. I've already got two that are completely done. So I'm going to be working on a fourth as soon as that one's done. But let's go get that bucket of acid again. Uh, we already made one, so this should be pretty easy. I killed a couple spiders at night. I'll go ahead and throw that in. This is set to export acid. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to get my upgrades out of there. Put them in here. Yeah, it makes the little doors move faster, so you lose less pressure, which is kind of nice. All right, and that's all going to go in there. We should be high enough. Yeah, we're plenty high. Should get a recipe as soon as all the items go in. Yes, maybe. There we go. Nope. <laughs> How are you doing? 86. And it's already done. Wow, that was quick. Acid. Okay, so we've got our bu uh, bucket of acid. I also want to show you something I did in between episodes. I went and I made conveyor belts and I put them all the way around my base. So they completely go on this inner thing and push everybody to right there. And that way in the morning I can pick up all my drops right there. Assuming the creepers aren't hanging out, which they usually are. And if one blows up, they, it takes every single drop with it and then it kind of sucks. i got to harvest these. These are going a little bit faster than it seems. Seems like every time I turn around, I've got something to harvest. That's okay. Um, all right, that light box is done. I say we drop some acid on these uh, PCBs here. Okay, put this food away. Got some good, good amounts of food. I'm eating donuts right now. That's awesome. <laughs> So I think with the acid, you just got to make a pit, and you kind of throw it in there. So let's do that. Whoops. That, that shovel is a little too strong for its own good. All right, so we'll take these guys. Can I do two at once? Might as well try. One, two, and some acid. Pour that acid in there. So that's going to take five in-game minutes, or real-life minutes, sorry. That's going to take a while. And we don't want them to despawn, so I'm going to check back maybe every two minutes and just pick up the acid, pick them up, throw them back down, that kind of thing. Is this guy done yet? Yeah, he is. Cool. We can throw him in there, too. Uh, we'll automate this all later um, with C's Factory Manager, because it can... Uh, there's, there's certain um, machines that can check the inventory around them, and it'll be looking for the full um, etched PCB boards. And so it'll be able to pull those back in, which is awesome. For right now, we're just going to do it manually. I'm going to do uh, probably maybe even the next episode after we do a moving. Uh, the next episode will probably be moving to the city. And so I'll pick up my entire base pretty much <laughs> and move it and then build a, a new fort. Um, and then after that, then it's going to be probably two, maybe three episodes devoted to Steve's factory manager on just automating everything. So that's that's the the plan and there's also some good surprises coming up soon all right we still have enough power for this thing to go yep plenty it's gonna drop a little bit as it etches it but or as it uv's it <laughs> exposes it let's say that all right so let's leave let's just check see how fast it's going it's uh Etching progress, 57%. Okay, that actually seems to be working a little bit faster than I thought it would. So let's throw those in there back. Cool. 57% is pretty fast. <laughs> uh, so I don't think it's five minutes. Are these ch done again? These chili peppers grow like crazy. I can't just leave them there for some reason. Oh, got a spider. Go away. And luckily there's no, like, spiders that can one-shot you, because I would be dead. <laughs> they infiltrate my base all the time. It's probably about time I made a spider wall, but I'm just about to move to a new base, so I'm thinking now. But as you can see, the, all the monsters are spawning, but they're getting trapped in the conveyor belts, and they're all moving right, right here. I'll have tons of drops in the morning to pick up right in one little spot. 
I might put like a vacuum hopper in the wall just to suck everything up so I don't have to go out there with the creepers. All right, when we get this done, uh, oh, I guess we can claim this reward. Let's get, uh, oh, we get them all. Cool. Yay. Next one, make the acid. I made that. And now we need to make an unassembled PCB, which we're just about to have here. Oh, looks like we got one done, two done. The third one, we going to take a little bit longer because we put it in later. Yeah, this does not take five minutes. It's more like maybe two. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. Come on, finish your last third one. Oh, whatever. Uh, if you if you jump in there with the acid, you take damage, you heat up, you fun catch on fire. I don't know. There's a bunch of weird stuff that happens, so don't do it. Is it done? It's already done. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I'll probably just keep the acid in my bag here. Cool. And all this weird stuff in the bag. I need to clean through it. But that's uh, what we need for here. So last step, it says transistors, gun capacitors, three of each, recipes are NEI. Cool. And that's all we have to deal. So let's craft those up. It gave us, luckily it gave us the three we need from to make the first one. Uh, I think you gotta do it like this. Printed circuit board. Sweet. So that completes this quest, which we get plastic sheets and a second circuit board. Claim. It also completes this one. We will get, uh, we don't need redstone, rubber tree, let's go for the sign plant seeds. And we got a bunch more iron ore. Oh, look at all this stuff opening up. Now we can make some dynamos and a grinder. We can make a ender pearl generator. We can get the, uh, oh, that's weird. Okay, anyway, uh, we'll get the glacial precipitator. Oh, this is so nice. Can do a ton of cool stuff now. Let's look at this printed circuit board. It's basically used in everything. <laughs> uh, can we make a nomadic craft helmet as upgrades you can put in it? That's cool. We can start making all these assembly units lasers and IO, platforms, controllers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> assembly or er, nomadic craft is just nuts. Look at all these little puzzle pieces somehow we gotta put together. I have no idea what that's for. We can make drones, a little programmer, and then here's these expansion cards, and these are going to start be using it in all our machines. So we've got the, for if we want to make a uh, jetpack, here's our machine frame recipe. That we're going to need tons of. And here's all our dynamos. So yeah, this is just starts to be used in everything. So we've unlocked pretty much all of it now. What was the expansion card? Oh, so easy to make. Cool. I think what I want to do is start off with a grinder to ca kill all these mobs and also a harvester to harvest the trees. So let's... I think one of those quests wanted us to build a grinder, didn't it? It was uh, this one? Yeah. Cool. Well, let's get a grinder. Grinder, grinder, grinder. Here we go. I need some invar. I think we still have two ingots, hopefully. Uh, books. Hmm. Is that a recipe for a book? Oh, nice. String paper and blank patterns. Paper. Wood chips we can get from a pulverizer. Hmm. How do we get... Uh, sugar canes. I don't know how to get sugar canes. They must come from doing this. Getting a sugarcane seed, maybe? Actually, let's look up. Uh... There it is. Ex nihilo. Sugarcane seed saving dirt. It is a 3% chance. Wow. Okay. So we need to save a lot more dirt. And I've got seven at the moment. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I think uh, we'll take a quick break. I'm going to um, get a ton more leaves from this tree. Or from my rubber tree. I don't know. One or the other. And, uh, well, can we just go straight to the harvester? Because maybe that we can use that to get our leaves and make that to our dirt. This makes invar, shears, redstone gold, plastic, machine frame. 
I think we can make everything. Oh, a lot more Invar. An Electrum. Oh, maybe that's going to be our... Electrum blend is silver and gold. Okay, we can do that all. So, let's see how much Invar I have. A one Invar left. How much Nickel do I have? None. I don't have any Nickel. Dang it. <laughs> I'm not prepared. I have two plus a blend or a dust. So that means we need to start sieving gravel. Okay. <laughs> Look at them all dying over here. All right. Change of plans. We're making that vacuum hopper because I want to get all those drops without dealing with the creepers. All right, so we're going to need a hopper, which will take five aluminum. We need a chest, which I think I have one left. Is it two hoppers, actually, for a vacuum hopper? Whoa. No, just one. An obsidian and an ender pearl. I think I've got a few ender pearls. Maybe just one, actually. I've got three. Okay, good. And I made obsidian earlier. I showed you guys how to make that. One, one, and one. Get you that. Give me a chest, please. All right. Now we have to open this up, and hopefully no baby creepers come in. That would be really bad. So let's put one right here. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, I think all my items just blew up. I forgot that that one would fall. When he, he blew up, I wasn't really even close to him. Wow, that was kind of shocking. Give me just any kind of block here for now. You weren't supposed to see me or get pushed through. Alright, now this will work. Nope, there's a baby one. There's a couple baby ones. There we go. Okay, you there. Got all, oh, I still got quite a few things. And output right to here. There we go. So every morning, that should collect uh, all the items of the mobs that can die in the sun. And then I just have to go out there and kill, if I want to, and go kill the creepers and all that kind of stuff. I can always just go 200 blocks away and come back and they would be gone. Okay, so I think the next thing to do, really, is to make a bunch of more invar. Where are my shears? On there, and in here. They're almost dead. So, yeah, a lot more Invar, a lot more Electrum. So I've just got to kind of pulverize a bunch of stuff after I get a bunch of grab, gravel. Gravel? No, not gravel. Oh, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> if it doesn't know that it's a tree if you cut it down too early. How are we doing on water? We are out of water. So much to do, guys. It's This map becomes so incredibly difficult at the beginning and also at the end because you just want to make these big grand builds, but you're constantly like, oh, got to go get water again. And don't worry, I'm going to automate uh, my camel pack refilling, automate my water. I'm going to automate everything. Don't, don't be so concerned. I just have to move at the pace I can move at. What did we get? A peanut seed? I think I've already got a peanut seed. What was this one? This was the slime plant. Should we get a slime plant? Yeah, let's get a slime plant. I think I just threw away the last of... No, don't use it. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Alright, slime. Slime plants are cool. So we do the same thing to re replicate the seeds as before. Uh, or we can just let it grow big and watch. Bloop, 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 bloop. And there goes the slime. <laughs> and we got slime balls. So if you ever need slime balls, just put three bone meal on this thing and you'll get a slime ball. Are they good for anything right now? Congealed slime. Yeah, I could use that. Tinkers, slime, slimalizer. Fire reactor. So fire nuts. 
Yeah, they got a few good uses, but nothing really too important right at the moment. Just put the seed in there. Peanut seed in there. Um, I put some glass over this. This uh, seemed to be the best solution. I know you guys gave me a lot of uh, suggestions with like stairs and other things. This one worked really well. I haven't had an item fall out in a long time. Cool. Alright, so as I said, I'm going to pause it. i uh, going to go get a ton of Invar and Electrum, and I will be back, guys. See you in a little bit. All right, everybody, we are back, and I've got quite a bit of Invar and uh, Electrum going on here. Okay, I've got a few more ingots here. Nope, oh, putting in an extra iron. Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, I just, I took a three stacks of cobble, put them down, hammered them, and put them into here. This looks like it's still working on the gravel. Uh, do we get any more nickel? Yeah, we've got another, another set, so we get a few more Invar. But that should be good for now. We need to make a machine frame. Let's get this guy too. I need plastic. Would I need redstone with it, I think? So I first need this guy. Oops, I forgot to grab those from outside. You are probably done. Nope, not quite. It looks like you ran out of stuff. That's fine. So let's get this guy. We might as well take both of these. Give you another thing so you can finish off that guy. Alright. And we're going here and finish crafting uh, the PRC. One of those. Okay. And then this. I think we need some glass. Swear I just saw a mob coming in. I uh, do not have any sand. So let's steal some gravel from here. And where do I put my hammer? It's kind of just experiencing with hammers to see which ones are fast and cheap to make. That one seemed pretty well. Lasted more than three stacks. Alright, cook me up some glass, and I should be good to make my machine frame. Uh, as far as getting the free machine frame, I am a <laughs> ways away. <laughs> I need to kill more spiders and skeletons and endermen. Ten more endermen? Wow. He really ramped up the difficulty on that quest. The previous version, it was a lot easier. Okay, now I should be able to make this guy. No, you can't. Why not? Electrum, Electrum. Oh, probably because that guy doesn't stack. It's one of those deals. Alright, I got some machine frame. We're going to need a Invar Axe and four iron. There's our Invar Axe. Two pair of shears. Two more plastic. Uh, three gold. Okay, I think we're about there. No, not yet. No, I think it's just the Invar Axe now is the problem, and the Shears. Sweet! Harvester! Ha <laughs> ha This thing's gonna work amazing on our jungle thing here. So I'm gonna put it right uh, here. And we're gonna go give it some power. I've been working on that already. Uh, I've moved this around a little bit, so this has been gaining power from these guys, and then providing it up to the fluid transposer. Um, but now we can get the one... We found one at the base, this guy. Oops. So I can take that one, and I can put this one down. And we'll do the same thing. In from the sides, up out the top. And go ahead and give these a few more charcoal. That should start filling that guy up. 
Maybe not. Why not? Max input. There we go. That's why. <laughs> cool. And now we'll take this guy. And things are going to go everywhere, but that's that's not bad. Sheer sheaves, yes. Sheer leaves, yes, I mean. Actually, we don't have very many saplings. But I can get them. Yeah, sheer leaves. Okay, let's give it power, see what happens. Boom! <laughs> so we got vines and leaves and wood. Did I f remember I could do anything with vines? Scaffolding, ball of moss. That was it. Goodness, it's kind of a waste. Look at all that sludge. Alright, so we didn't get any saplings however all we have to do is come in here put one of these in there and this is going to give us saplings as an output rarely right what's the chance on it five percent chance so in a stack of 64 we'll get three of them not bad we got three stacks out of it i don't want the vines though Ugh. whatever i'll just throw them in a trash can But that's given us tons and tons of water. We'll be good good for water for here on out. And I guess one sapling dropped there. We can put a few more. Maybe one of these stacks in here to get some more dirt. And go run and throw the dirt in here. Okay, looking good. We got this guy. So now our next thing is to wait for sugarcane to come through this guy. Still, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Has that been sitting there this whole time? Or did we just get that? I wonder if that's been sitting there this entire time. <laughs> okay, well, we need some sand, so let's get some cobble. Nope, 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 nope. Wonder where all my creepers went. Alright. Just one cobble's fine. Well, might as well get eight. Turn those into sand here. Because we want to grow a lot of sugar cane. All right, sand for days. We need to put it around some water. So let's just make a little pit of water somewhere around here. I'm amazed how fast the shovel <laughs> demolishes this sand uh, dust. All right, so sand here. All right. Now we need four buckets of water. I'm going to have to be running back and forth. <laughs> but I can get the first one down here and then plant my sugar cane. There we go. We got some sugar cane. This cannot be bone milled, I don't believe. But I think it can be water and canned. If I can find my water and can. I think it's in here. There it is. I might as well get some more water while I'm here. Okay. Moving right along. Come on, grow. You can do it. Grow, 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 grow. You know you wanna. What was that? Speaking of spiders that can one-shot you, that thing appeared out of nowhere. It can fly. 
Oh, oh, that not what I meant to do. Scared the heck out of me. Holy crap, Harvester. Don't do that to me. Come on, just grow once and I can plant you twice. Got another spider coming in. What are you? Poison? No, do not hit me. I do not want to be poisoned. Come on, grow. You can do it. There it goes. Now we can start multiplying it. Come on, I want enough for a couple books. <laughs> I need to grind those creepers out there. Alright, so I'm probably pouring this one and get all three, maybe. Alright. Looking good. Okay. I'll expand that as it grows now naturally. And we'll get some paper. Cool. Uh, I looked at the pulverizer to see if it was any easier. Um, it is. We need another machine frame, which we know how to make. Do we have four more Envire? No, we're short Envire, but I can get more. Let's do that. Might be easier to pulverize wood for our paper. Alright, so our... Oh, we got plenty, plenty of nickel now. Might as well hammer it, see if we get some extras. How many do we get? A little bit of extra. And a little bit of extra again. Not quite enough to make an extra one. Got an acorn. Got a diamond. Is that our first diamond? <laughs> that might be our first diamond. Uh, and to mix with the... How much nickel do we end up with? Two nickel? Let's get... We would need... 16 of this. There we go. And we'll go turn all this into Invar. Could probably just left that iron in there, but this will be nice and even. Oop, I need a chest there, don't I? Do I have one more chest or I'm at the point where I need to craft them? Oh, I've used them all. Okay. Get a double wide. Hold all these items we're going to be getting. How much power is this thing using? Like none. <laughs> That's what's awesome. I wish you could just combine like a sapling and something else for a jungle. But with one stack, we got five, so that's another enough for another tree. Put all of this in here. Cool. All right, you're probably done now. It's hard to remember to come check these things. Just one more thing you got to come check every day. Start working, getting a little more power. Grapes. I don't care about grapes. Need you to grow. All right, we're getting the pulverizer. That's what was next. I hope that was Invar. Come on, what did I just pour in there? Oh, good. <laughs> That's the fourth one we need. That's good. Okay. So another PRX card. Another machine frame, needs glass. Okay. And then we need a, a piston. Need some redstone, some iron. Okay. There's our piston. Two flint, two copper, gold, two redstone. Got the redstone, two copper, two flint. All right, that should be our pulverizer done. Nice. And might as well 
Hook it up to one of these guys. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can hook here. It's fine. I need to get some cabling. Alright, you're getting power through here, right? You can no longer accept it over there. You only get your power from there. It's fine. Pull browser. Online. Nice. Cool. And we, what do we do? Have to put a full things of wood in there? Does jungle wood work in a polarizer? No. Um, from paper. That's how we found the recipe last time was this stuff. Only oak wood in a pulverizer. Okay. Yeah, let's just do a whole stack. <laughs> oh, that was that was gonna fail. Go, make me some wood pulps. Is it hundred percent chance, right? Yeah, okay. Or wood chips. Using that pretty quickly. A lot of power for some paper. <laughs> I think I might end, just wait for the sugar cane to grow. Alright, and to get a book, how much paper did it need with the alternate recipe here? String, paper, paper, pattern, pattern. So three of them. I have leather. I, I could use that too. That's fine. Did we get any bookcases when we went traveling? Nope, we did not. Darn. I should go back to the city. Just harvest the bookshelves that are already there. Already out of power? You suck, pulverizer. Stop taking all my power. Oh, there's a lot of paper. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Alright, get some leather. Don't know where I put that. There it is. Two books. And we're using that on the grinder, right? Yeah. Invar. Golden. Okay, Invar sword. I need two more Invar outside. Oh, we are getting really long. <laughs> Alright, well, we might as well finish the grinder. We already started it. We had a lot done this episode, guys. Hope you guys approve. Alright, end of our sword. What are tin gears? Uh, tin around iron. Eight, two, perfect. Okay, tin gears. What else for this? Grinder. Some gold. That's about it. Easy peasy. Right. You there. You guys. Some books. Ooh, I'm getting hungry or something. <laughs> hungry or thirsty. One or the other. Didn't I make another machine frame? Oh, I didn't make another machine frame. Because we just used it. <laughs> In the pulverizer. Alright, we're having a heat stroke. We're okay. We're only at 39 degrees Celsius. I'm told that is a fine temperature. Alright, no more of this. I don't need you. Well, one more. Just to make it even. Okay, so we need four more invar. We got enough of that. Yeah, we do. Do we have enough transistors? That's that's a question. Somewhere I thought we had some more that we got, like maybe in the city. Is it in the bag? Oh, we got some capacitors. All right. Well. Yeah, we're going to have to hit a, a stopping point at that point because I do not have any of the uh, transistors. 
to finish off the uh, PCB board. So can't make the grinder at this point. We'll do that next time, uh, I guess. And we might be moving, so we'll see. But the, the basic of it is I want to put a grinder here so that all these creepers go away. Look at all the stuff we got. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't have to collect it anymore. Anyways, guys, this is Function X4 Crash Landing. If you liked the episode, hit the like button. Pretty standard every time I say it. You guys you know, know the deal by now. If you're not subscribed, it's free. Go ahead and click that button. And uh, if you want to put any comments down there, I'm pretty good at replying to pretty much everyone that has a question or uh, anything else they want to put in the comments. So this has been Funchex. Catch you guys later. Bye.